Well, through the first seven weeks of the season, the Byron Tigers had only been seriously challenged once. That was by Genoa Kingston in week four. Otherwise, the Tigers have stormed past everyone else on their schedule to a 7-0 record. Tonight, they faced the Dixon Dukes team that had the potential to give them a battle. The Dukes entered the game with a 5-2 record. There were some on-field festivities for senior day prior to this one, and when the Dukes finally took the field, what a spectacle this was. The purple smoke billowing in the background. Look at how cool this looked during warm-ups. Look at that. But much like in last week's loss to Genoa Kingston, Dixon got off to another slow start. Ethan Paulskill takes the handoff here for Byron, and he has some running room, and he finds the game's first touchdown to give the Tigers a lead. On the following kickoff, Xavion Johnson corrals it. He's met by an ambush of Tigers. The ball pops free, and Byron's Isaiah Gooden recovers it in great field position. Touchdown to that drive made it 14-0. Let's go to the second quarter now. Byron known for the run game, not so much the pass, but this time it's Braden Smith on a wheel route to Chandler Binkley. What a dime to put the Tigers inside the five. They would score that drive, but can't leave without showing a Dixon highlight. Here's Johnson taking it on the draw. He takes a lick at the pylon, but doesn't matter because he's in. The Dukes hung tough, but the Tigers' prowl was just too much. They win this one 52-35. With the win, Byron clinched at least a share of the Big Northern Championship.